close to the spectre of relegation. Ipswich, four straight wins, leading the second division by seven points. Keep the side, which has just beaten Southend and Wolves, when goals from Neil Thompson, Phil Whelan and Steve Whitten did the trick. Here, the pace of Chris Kiwami will be just one problem Newcastle will have to cope with. As well as the know-how of Paul Goddard, short of goals for Ipswich perhaps, but he's the former Newcastle player whose goals helped keep Newcastle in the first division a few years ago, now with a very different mission. Newcastle, their 12th game under Kevin Keegan, they won five of them, still perilously near the bottom three, and after conceding nine goals in the last two games, four changes which look like desperate measures. From the man who inspired the Geordie chant, we're in heaven, we've got Kevin, his last act as a player was to lead Newcastle into the first division, now he's got to stop them sinking into the third division. So Ipswich and John Lyle on the threshold of a notable achievement here. Excitement, anticipation, great atmosphere, and you can't beat a bit of spring sunshine thrown in. Alf Bucks is uh, quite a, well, some people would say fussy, but he's a particular referee and he's perfectly entitled to be. Dazelle picks it up. Stockwell, nice little touch from Kiwanya to Dazelle. Dazelle can go a bit. Here's space here for Thompson on the good left foot. Driving past his man. And here's Goddard. Goddard had the chance. Thompson's drive down to the line. Pulls it back and there's trouble. Wright can't get there. Now, should Goddard have hit the target? He didn't. Plenty of space for Liam O'Brien. Lee Clark is wide on the right. Brock might see him. He has, but so is Milton. Clark has it. It's in for Peacock. Trying to turn Whelan. It's a good shot. What a brilliant goal. Gavin Peacock. The Newcastle defend, fans celebrate, and understandably so. There's a bit of space between him and Whelan. He turns him well and shoots perfectly. And Forrest is beaten. Newcastle one up. Milton. Again, when they do get it into the left-hand side, there, are, there is a little bit of room for them. Now, Kiwomia against Howie. There's room for Thompson to come up, and Zondervan is square. Will Zondervan have a go? Tipped away by Tommy Wright. Romeo Zondervan, who hasn't scored since April 89, testing the Irishman right here from way outside the area. It's a good drive. Was that on the way in? Probably was. It's a corner. And Ipswich desperately need to get back into the game. In comes Whelan. Does well. Picked up by Goddard. Appeals for handball. The linesman's flag goes across the chest. The referee points to the penalty spot. And they have a chance now to draw level. Referee waving away the protest. Let's see how Goddard drives it back into the goal area. What about Ransom? Uh, hits his hand and his knee. Handball. This is difficult for Steve Whitten, but so important to them. It's it. He took it very coolly. Steve Whitten, second penalty of the week, seventh goal of the season. It's 1-1. chase here by Kiwamia. He's got Goddard supporting him. Kiwamia is getting away from his man. He's in there. Now Goddard. It's a side netting. It's a goal kick. Kiwamia showing he had speed and strength as he got away from very tight marking. Goalkeeper came out to block it. But it's fairly physical here. Getting away well from Howie. Goalkeeper blocks it and Goddard runs out of space. On by Howie, Clark. Room for Sheedy to look for the front man. Forward goes Peacock, Peacock's in a striking position here. It's a great goal! Peacock with a terrific second for Newcastle. That was a brilliant piece of play again by Gavin Peacock. Latching on to Sheedy's long pass ball. Brilliant play. Sheedy plenty of time to pick him out it doesn't look really dangerous as Warp tracks him but the goalkeeper is not coming out 
now he's half out and Peacock beats him superbly well there's no doubt about it the outstanding player in the game so far has been 24 year old Gavin Peacock 19 goals now Milton uses Thompson but Bjorn Christensen gets to him bypass well by Thompson if he can swing it right over the other side there's Witten but that's asking too much and it's Zondervan's ball forward to Kiwamia gets away from Howie beautifully Kiwamia doing a great job here Wright blocks it holds it loses it and Newcastle scramble it away somehow and goalkeeper Tommy Wright is in all sorts of trouble here but it won't run for Ipswich and in the end it runs for Newcastle so a double substitution for Ipswich Town at a time in the second half when things aren't going too well for them off comes Simon Milton and Paul Goddard on comes Gavin Johnson and Steve Palmer so strength of Palmer the resourcefulness of Gavin Johnson on the left hand side Kiwami is getting away from his man Howie and Kiwami is in with a chance here well it's still in and Wynn could still make it dangerous Wynn's done well what about the cross and it's Johnson and tipped over the header powered down into the ground bouncing over the goalkeeper tipped over the bar Wynn did well Kiwami did well before that but still, it's Newcastle hanging on. Kwame really had an excellent opening there, and his pace just beginning to show at last. Corner to Ipswich. Walk gets in. John Walk. The old hand comes to the rescue. A fine corner. They got some big guys in there, Newcastle, but John Walk coming round from the back, powers it in as he times it much better than Steve Howey, 2-2 two -two. and for John Walk, is a third goal of the season looking for Johnson, he's got inside him Kiwamia, Johnson they're powering forward now Palmer couldn't quite get there, Sheedy this is breakneck stuff and a fine advertisement for the second division John Moore really coming into his own now when the chips are down. Stockwell, Sheedy gets to him quickly. Witten, Stimson's onto him. He's past him and he's into the middle. Forward goes Palmer. Palmer through. And in goes Kiwabia. Ipswich are in the lead. Chris Kiwamia. An easy one for him, 19 goals of the season, but full credit to Steve Witten and Steve Palmer. That was a very, very good pass forward. What a run by Palmer. Power, speed, fresh legs. Now, he hasn't scored this season. He might want to have a go himself, but very unselfishly, he sets up an easy one for Kiwamia, 3-2. controlled by Kevin Scott Kelly trying to get behind Whelan bit of a push picked up by Brock Brock shot and in goes Peacock but it's Walk's challenge to clear it that was a good break by Newcastle a good bit of recovery by John Walk after goalkeeper Craig Forrest had made a good save but it was real danger there for Ipswich and they only just got away with it. Here's a corner. And it's a good one. Liam O'Brien with a very powerful header. Straight into the arms of Forrest. And he was well positioned. But they were very close to drawing level again there after Whelan loses it. And Brock powers forward. It's a good shot, a good save. Walk just stops Peacock getting to it. Stimson. Scott knocks it back in. And Brock 
Oh, that's one with his right foot. I think that was always playing away from the right hand side of his boot. And there's the final whistle. Ipswich Town take another step nearer the Premier League. Chris Kiwomia's winner. Two goals in the space of three minutes. Turn the game for Ipswich Town with John Walk putting them level with that powerful header. But give credit to Newcastle. They were valiant opponents here with Gavin Peacock putting them ahead and in control in some areas with two cracking goals. But Ipswich showed that they have resilience and they came back to get all three points and they have a lot to celebrate. So the final score here is Ipswich Town 3, Newcastle United 2. Chris, how would you sum that one up? Three points, really, that's all I can really say. It was a hard game for Newcastle came down and battled well. But at the end of the day, we've gotten away with the three points and they must be disappointed. All in all, uh, what I call a battling performance. And as I say, they would have gone away disappointed. It could have gone either way, but you know, the good teams win matches that they're not playing well in. We'd seen Ipswich play in the week. They're a very good football inside. There's, there's no doubt about it. They deserve to be top of the league. And we came and we, we played football against them. And uh, I think on the day, we, we may have won the, the battle, but we've, we've lost the world. Last three two, and uh, we've got a long journey home now. We're looking for it to show for it. But it's a great game for the fans, and uh, we mustn't forget that that's what it's all about. Two goals in the space of three minutes turn the game. When when life had been difficult against Newcastle, tell us about the goal you scored. Well, I think it's been passed on in midfield, and Steve Steve Palmer made a great run forward, and I've just I've just been forward, and I believe he's picked me out, and I've just stuck it home and went to my boys up in the West End. You went offside, were you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I might be a little bit biased. Do you concede at this stage that you might have half a chance of promotion? Yeah, we, we're, we're nearer than most. I'll say they are. Five consecutive wins.